I'm Matt Bisha with REIT.com here in San Diego for REIT World 2012, near its annual convention for all things REIT. Joining me today is Marty Chico, Senior Managing Director with Evercore Partners. Marty, which side of the capital markets seem most appealing to REITs in search of fresh capital? Well, Matt, actually all aspects of the capital markets have been available to REITs uh, over the last year or two. Uh, the preferred market is healthy, obviously the debt market is very attractive. Uh, and when companies need equity, uh, the market's been very receptive. Now, I want to talk a little bit about REIT IPOs. It seems like every year we kind of hear that the next year may be the year we see more IPOs. What's your take on the pipeline? Well, obviously, Archstone has filed, uh, and uh, not sure whether that will get done this year or next, uh, but that's clearly on the docket. Uh, I think, you know, the IPO market will expand in a couple different ways, Matt. Uh, you have a, a number of uh, non-traded REITs uh, that have been attracted to a liquidity event uh, and so they've actually become you know a good source of public IPO uh, whether they raise capital or just list their securities on the exchanges uh, and it, listen I don't think it'll be a significant market but uh, you know you always have some private companies that have reasons to go public which is really to either liquefy investments they have uh, or to attract new capital to grow their business. And, and now going from, from adding new companies to, to subtracting them, are there any sectors you see as being prime for consolidation in the near term? I, I, I wouldn't necessarily do it by sector. Uh, obviously the mall industry is consolidated more than others and I think there's more synergy in running that business than in some of the other property sectors. Uh, you know, but, but I think as far as uh, you know, the consolidation that occurs, one thing that has come through the crisis four years ago, we were in lovely San Diego and the mood was not quite as uh, exuberant as it is uh, in our visit here. Uh, but one thing that came out of the crisis was clearly some winners and losers, some have-nots and haves. Uh, and I think the opportunity for some consolidation is really going to be driven in part by the fact that you've got pretty different uh, multiple uh, beneficiaries in the marketplace and some that are trailing. So the likelihood for some MA activity I think is reasonably good looking into 2013. So, so reading the tea leaves for 2013, what do you think is going to be the dominant trend or theme regarding MA? I, I believe the trend really has a lot to do with people. Uh, you know, I think there are different aspects of, of mergers uh, that make sense, but it, it really is a, it's whether it's a succession and a management uh, you know, management team at a particular company, but I, I think people will drive where the M&A activity is in 2013. Great. Marty, thank you so much for your insights. Always a pleasure, Matt. Thank you. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.